Hey, welcome back. My name is Mick. Yeah, I'm Kevin. And you're watching Kevin Levu Weddings. We are on Yay. the last tip. Um, we've been reviewing the Not Wedding Ultimate Planner Guide thing <laughs> on how to hire a wedding photographer. So here we go. Let's see. What's the last tip? Number so 10. So the last tip. Don't sweat the little things. Oh, good tip. Well, it's totally fine to show your photographer the types of shots you like. <laughs> it's more important that you're flexible the day of. So if it rains, grab an umbrella and trust your photographer to find the right shot. Mm, that's that, a good tip. Yeah, that's a great tip for tip number 10. That's a great tip. The not. I mean, after all that stuff that we went through with the other tips and some were a little like iffy or whatever, or like, yeah. oh, I don't really agree with that one. But this is a great tip. Yeah, it's just to show that um, allow your photographer uh, to be creative, uh, to allow them to have their own space to be uh, artist mm -hmm. uh, on your wedding day and right. um, uh, providing them too much control can kind of hinder your photographer from being creative. Being micromanaged. Yeah. So yeah, that was tip number 10. Don't yep. sweat the little things and enjoy planning your wedding. Enjoy your wedding day yeah. and the entire process. And speaking of rain, like um, I wanted to make a note of how we handle rain because here in Southern California, like we barely get rain, but when we do, it's like, oh no. Yeah. <laughs> so how we handle that is like we monitor it day by day, especially like in the, in the rainy season, which is like what, February, March, April-ish for us. Yeah, normally everything is always taken care of if it does rain. Uh, just know that your wedding venue always has a plan B. They always have a tent available they if should. you're having an outdoor wedding they or they have a large room where your ballroom is taking place that can be converted into a ceremony site. So just remember there's always plan B and there's nothing to freak out yeah. when it does rain. Yeah. And for your photographers, uh, the pictures aren't ruined. It, you know, that was, that. I think that word came from film photographers. Like mm -hmm. film cameras, yeah, they're not as weather sealed, they're not as weatherproof as uh, digital, uh, you know, digital gears nowadays. Like what we use. So when they said, oh yeah, don't let the rain ruin the photos, because yeah, if rain fell on film, it's completely destroyed. Well, rain can fall on the bride, and if the bride did her hair and her dress, and oh, yeah, da, 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 right. Da, right, like she's worried, I think a bride is more worried about that, like stepping in grass with her Louboutin oh, shoes, I see, I you see. know? Okay. So, um, but it, you know, end of the day the big picture is your marriage is not one day it's not one party it's the rest of your lives together and, and this day that you're you know allowing a photographer like ourselves to capture that day that's that's great it's a party it's a celebration and if rain happens or if something happens that isn't ideally perfect just know that's that's gonna be life and that's gonna be marriage too yeah. like it's not always perfect but laugh about it you know you got to document it and don't sweat it and don't sweat it so yeah. that was tip There's number more. 10 <laughs> and there is definitely, There's more. definitely more to like you know <laughs> give you something else some stress so have fun no matter what yeah, yeah. the big picture is you two are getting getting married yep yeah all right, so thank you guys for uh, watching this entire series on the top 10 tips when hiring your wedding photographer. From the knot. From the knot. But anyway, uh, we also have our own tips that I'd like to direct you towards as well. Like we actually did a series, what is it called? I don't know, it was a series about like wedding photography tips and uh, yeah. we, we did little skits and we had a lot of fun with that. So I'll link that in the description as well. Now for a little special surprise, we wanna do something cool with this book. Yeah, so um, after reviewing everything, everything is quite solid. Uh, so we want to do a giveaway uh, to anyone that is planning their wedding in 2020. Mm -hmm. So we'll be doing this giveaway in the list of things that we would need from you mm -hmm. uh, that would be listed in uh, Instagram and just kind of follow those rules and uh, you'll see if you're the big winner. Yeah. We'll see you next time. All right. Thank you see so you guys much. next time. Bye. Bye.